Hello people, that is me, Cyberfox here, bringing you a brand new video. It's like the fifth time I'm recording this now, I keep mucking up the tutorial. But today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a walk-in mechanism slash ATAT mechanism. Up to you how you use this, this is only the mechanism, not a full design. Because I'd rather show you how to build a mechanism and you put your own design on it, because otherwise everyone's going to be walking around with the same thing. So first you want to make a little platform, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I'm going to do it like that, and put some out like that. Now you don't have to do it exactly like this, if you want you can fill in these gaps, do whatever, but this is just the mechanism, so yeah. Then you want to get your motor out, make sure that it is pointing down, the arrow is pointing down, put one there, there, and two on this side. Now you want to obviously do your keybinds, I'm going to recommend copying as I do it so then you can get all the keybinds correct and then you can change them up to whatever you want. So then we're just going to simply do that, then once you get to the other side, S and W, switch them around, done, easy peasy like that. Now you also want to put your pilot seat in, if you want you can put it in now or put it in whenever. And then we need to put cylinders on this. Now this is a all-motor vehicle, a I mean, walker. You don't need any pistons, which basically means you're able to just hold down a button instead of. You can hold down one button instead of pressing multiple buttons. That's how a walker should be. Now, if you want, you can use three by threes or you can use five by five cylinders. They all work the same, but you can't use anything smaller than a three by three has to be a 3x3 or a 5x5, you can't use any of the half ones because otherwise it just won't work. Oh, now you want to test out it, see if it works as a car, yeah it does. Now we can go on to the next step. If it doesn't then you want to muck up, well play around with it for a bit until you've got a work in, until it all works the same. Now you want to put motors on the right and the left of the cylinder, opposite sides like that. And because I've done it on the right on that side, I want to put it on the right on this side, left here. So that is the opposites like that. Now, what we want to do is just simply not do them them bits yet. The inner right motors you want to set as the same as the outer left. And the inner left motors you want to set as the the same as the outer right. So like that. Now we can make a leg. Well, now we can make our legs. You can make it however you want. I'm just going to simply go one, two, three, four, and five. Now I'm going to do this on each side. All legs need to be the same so then they have the same surface area. And stuff like that. Uh, yeah, some sciencey stuff. So just do the same like that on each and every leg. You can put better design to it. I will be showing you my design to this as well at the end of the video. So now we've got our legs. Technically, yes, this would work. Let's test it. That would work if you wanted it to. But we're not going to leave it as a plain design like that because of, yes that works but it's a bit janky and doesn't properly work. So, we're going to put some blast blocks or density blocks on the bottom of the legs just to put a bit more weight on them so then they stay down. Uh, set that to 10. Set all of them to 10 so they're all the same. And then I recommend putting down something like a friction block if you want, or or you can leave it at the density block. I'm going to put out the fric I'm going to put down the friction block because why not? And then to give it a bigger surface area, we're just going to put wedges around here. Now these won't hit each other at this um, size. You want to make sure that none of your legs collide because otherwise it will muck up the mechanism. So if you want to go for bigger feet, 
you obviously want to separate them out a bit more like this luckily there's one gap otherwise they would collide and then it won't work as intended so now this should just simply walk like that see I missed a the block there but still it does work and it does hold down on two legs and you want to mind out that people don't try and ram into the legs because otherwise it can break the mechanism once again now obviously there is no turning mechanism to this as is so you might want to turn it to tank steering I don't know if that will properly work or the way how I normally do it is you just simply get some propellers like this like that one on the back and then you switch them to on and off A A C B B Or oh, no that's wrong Set these ones to D And then set these ones to A I once again got that wrong Hold on they're going to be pulled, yeah, right, these ones need to be the A's, I was correct at the first, yeah, and then these ones need to be the D's, minor error, still fixed rule, so now that you've got the weight behind it, it will walk, and then you can use the propellers to turn, it slightly turns, not too well, but still, it works. And now I'm going to show you my designs to it, so I will be back. Now this is one of my designs, it's an at, -AT four legs. As you can see, I went for, like you don't have to have the motors on the side, so you can put them out in the top and the bottom. And as you can see, this leg's higher than this leg, but it still works the same. Uh, not so straight legs, much bigger mechanism, I'm pretty sure they're three by three wheels as well, and cylinders as well. And yeah, this has a working head. Has a working head. And it walks just by holding W and S. And it turns using A and D. Now, don't go off and copy this entire design or copy the whole head moving thing. Um, another thing that I did add in is just so then if people ram the legs, it doesn't ruin it. F and G to lock it up and then sometimes glitches can happen and that's one of my designs and I do have another design which I'll show now and this is my other design for it uh, the turning is really bad these are locked and don't properly work because otherwise um, it just won't properly work but it walks and it looks like a car. Now this is me showing the design that you don't have to make it look like an at, -AT. you don't have to make it look like a dog or any of that lot. You can practically put legs on anything and make it look cool because this could be like a spider car or something like that. If I made it a bit longer I could have added on a sixth leg and all that lot. And if you want to add on more legs I'm just going to simply tell you how to do it. You just copy the pattern. This is the same mechanism as I showed you guys before but what you want to do is the next one after this will be the same as that and the one after this one will be the same as this so you want to go in out in out or up down up down up down left right left right left right or however you've done it so if you like this video if you've learned something smash that like button and I want to say a massive thank you to my 50th subscriber who's actually in the server here he is this guy here I ain't gonna try to pronounce usernames, but if you liked the video, hit that like button. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, stay strong, live long, and enjoy your time. Peace out.